Do I weigh in on Scottish independence, living as far away on the UK mainland as it's pretty much possible to get? Insofar as Port Marcus Liz Truss's latest example of abject stupidity, how can I resist? Liz Truss, a wannabe pound shop Margaret Thatcher, is one of those people who has got what she has by having no principles of her own whatsoever. Who else can start out as a Lib Dem and end up a hard right Tory? She will switch from one stance to another and campaign as vociferously on that as she did the complete opposite position not long before. Case in point would be Brexit, where she's gone from being an ardent Remain campaigner to now being the darling of a hard Brexit loving ERG. A politician without principles is one that only ever works in their own interests. Supposedly you enter politics to serve the public, work to make our lives better. Of course, most don't do that at all, but ones like Truss, and indeed this applies to Keir Starmer as well, who say one thing, then go on to do something else completely, exposing themselves as utter hypocrites, yet are secure enough in their own seats that they can get away with it. So we come to Liz Truss's attack on Nicola Sturgeon. She has, without trace of irony, accused Sturgeon of being an attention seeker. In the five months that Truss had been Foreign Secretary up to February of this year, she'd had so many publicly funded photos taken, it worked out as one photo taken every five hours. More than 700 government images just of her. So it's a pretty rich accusation to make from a serial photo bomber. This is the woman who took a publicly funded photographer everywhere she went on her Brexit trade deal trips. How about Little Miss The Handmaid's Tale? We're in the army now, Liz. These trousers, Liz. Copying the Queen's Christmas message, Liz. Russian Liz. What the hell is this pose, Liz? Bride of Chucky, Liz. She's got more outfits than frigging Barbie and has just as many original thoughts in her head. She's bound to be inflicted on us by the batshit Tory base as our next Prime Minister then. And that's exactly the point, because what she said is to appeal to her base. Truss has said she plans to simply ignore Nicola Sturgeon, which is frankly to ignore Scotland, ignore the democratic will of their people, confirming for them they really are treated like dirt, something Westminster parties have dirt to their cost. Truss right now is thinking no further ahead than beating Rishi Sunak, and to hell with the consequences afterwards. But given her punch on to flip-flop once she wins, no doubt she'll be trying to cozy up to Scotland like a cat in heat, because it's what she always does. She's a principal bereft narcissist who will do or say whatever she thinks will make her popular. Sound familiar?